Oh, hello. So you you catch me um, in a boat. Uh, in what pond are we in? Taisho Pond. Taishu Pond. Taisho Pond. Taisho Pond. The water is very clear. Have a look. If you can see, it's quite green. And we're in. Uh, where are we? You mean Kamikochi? Kamikochi. A Kamikochi is very famous among the Japanese people and tourists. And what week is it today? What week? Ah, uh, Obon. It's Obon. What happens in Obon? Uh, Regarding travel. It's everywhere is busy. Yeah. So this area, so if you can see that view there, it looks amazing. We're in um, yeah, Kamikochi. 1,500 meters above sea level, and we're gonna have a nice walk along here. Yesterday we spent time in Matsumoto, which is our like hotel base. We rented a car here, so that was a bit nerve-wracking. I haven't driven a car in like two years, so I was asked to drive along mountain roads and forget how to turn on car lights in tunnels and <laughs> <laughs> driving automatic cars are weird, a bit boring. So yeah, here we are. What do you think of this? I need some. Mm. Oh wow, you can see the bottom. You can actually yeah. see the... Ooh. Nice. Pretty cool. So yeah, we'll uh, take you along our tour. Along Kamikochi, the valley is that way. So, yeah. Is there anything else to say? It's cool. Hope the sun's coming out, which is nice. Uh, water is freezing. It is super clear. It's not super clear. I can see the bottom. Of it. It's pretty cool. So please talk about how how uh, relatively complicated it is to get up here, or stressful. Because no cars are allowed up here, you have to take either shuttle, bus, taxi. Mm. And it got so busy that oh my god, there's a fly on me! Oh, now the sun. Oh, that is strong. That sun is strong. Have a look now. With sun out. Oh wow, you can. Oh, with the sun out, you can really see clear now. That's excellent. Very cool. So yeah, it was very busy, so like they had to have human uh, traffic lights and yeah, it was like very congested and they said the bus would take one hour to get here. Not, not get here, just waiting time. Yeah, just the waiting time, sorry. Yeah, the waiting time at the area where we parked the rental car. And yeah, so we believed that and we thought, okay, we might as well pay extra and get a taxi, which normally is... Um, Mm hmm 4,200 one way, but luckily like a shuttle taxi arrived out, out, out of nowhere and um, We got on with some other people nine people in total including us and we paid ended up ended up paying 800 yen to get here Instead of how much was the coach? 1,000 1,050 so overall yeah pretty good so now we'll uh We'll just hang around. Oh shit, when did we start? Uh, let's just say we started at 35 past 12. Yeah, only allowed half an hour in here. See you soon. So, I'm enjoying everything I see here. It is very beautiful. I love mountain places. But, yeah, what I don't love is so many people everywhere. So you have to like wait for them to take pictures, or they have to wait for you, and all the people are talking. I just want to be here with you, right?
All right, so that volcano there is called Mount Yakidake. Yakidake, and its most recent eruption was in 1962, and it caused, I think, it caused the pond uh, to happen. That uh, that uh, we were riding a boat on. And here it is. Pretty cool. So interestingly, this river's not as natural as it seems because there seem to be three people there, if you can see. Um, they seem to be changing it somehow, moving the rocks around, altering the river's path. I guess it's to keep this bridge here intact so it doesn't, whoop, it doesn't uh, go crazy. Okay, so quickly this area we're in was uh, caused by alluvial fans from Mount Kazumizawa Dake. We're right there. I studied this in geology too, but I forget what it means. Oh, so slow. Can I overtake? Oh no, I can't. Nope. Oh, traffic here is crazy. We'll try now. Oh, we'll try now. <laughs> and indi indicate back left. And we're got some free road ahead of us. Cool. So yeah, th these information boards are quite good for what they say in English, so yeah, different zones have different types of uh, wildlife and plants and Kamikochi is right on the boundary between subalpine and mountain. That's pretty cool. One black bear appeared today, this morning, at the bridge we're heading to. Let's go! Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Right. So we're currently at. Where are we? Let's have a look. You forgot. Tashiroike Pond. Wetlands. Ah, oh, more textbook geography, geology stuff going on here. So you can see a mountain. Rains fall on these mountains, they feed the pond. Five meters a hundred years ago. Ah, I see. The decaying plants have made it shallower, like this. So yeah, that mountain right... Uh, where's my finger? There is Mount Okuhotaka Dake, and it's Japan's third highest. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're at the like mountain bus information hub area of Kamikochi and just to give you an idea how busy it is. Like, there's so many coaches, there's so many people. It's like um, oh, like a theme park or something. Pretty crazy. Well, so those people you saw earlier, this is the this is the line still. It's still going. It goes around the building. Yeah, so 
just to give you an idea, this is the line for those buses. It goes all the way around that building there. Crazy. Right now, you are buying some. You are buying some food. Karage. Basically, chicken nuggets. Try it now. So how's that? Nice. Yeah, crispy. Tasty. Good. So, how's the trip so far for you? The Kamakochi walk. It's been good. Tiring because of someone. Because of because of what? Someone who loves nature too much. Oh. Me. You, you had no other ideas though, did you, baby? Okay, so now we're approaching the oh-so-famous bridge around here. Not sure why it's famous, I think it just looks good with the mountain in the background. But look how many people increase as you get near this bridge. Wow. Do you like busy places? <laughs> if, if, right now it does feel like I'm at like a theme park. There's the attraction. And the mountains. Pretty cool. Yeah, so it seems... What made this bridge famous? It basically says it there. It, it's been rebuilt a couple of times. Uh, this is the fifth version of the bridge, 1997. And it became renowned throughout Japan for a short story in 1927. And there it is, you can just about see it among all the people here. So we've walked a few minutes from the bridge and it's much more quieter and look at this, like the swamp and dead trees. Pretty cool. What's up, baby girl? Huh? I lost what? Reliever. Reliever. <laughs> but you used it last, right? No. Oh. Are you still itchy? I haven't used it today. I'm pretty sure you used it once. No? no? no. So now you have an itchy mosquito bite. Hmm. You have to treat me to like that and that. You have to buy the new reliever. The, and the mosquito, huh? Mosquito reliever. It's only 400 yen, right? Anyway, nice views. Yeah, so this water is quite cold because I can feel, I can feel the, the breeze coming off it. It's very loud as well. What do you think? Mountain, the sunny version.
Right, so after an hour or so walk, we're at Mojin Pond. Mojin Pond, Mojin. So let's check it out. Apparently, yeah, it's part of a shrine, and it says you have to pay 300 yen to enter. So if that's the case, damn, that's a bit sucky considering we walked like a little over an hour to get here. Are you okay now? Are you still crying? You have to pay. Maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. Wow. Okay, so that famous bridge of all the people was there. We've gone along all here. It says it takes 75 minutes, it took about 60. That was including stops though. Um, now we're, we visited that shrine with the pond, which was very nice. Except you had to pay, that kind of sucked. And now we're about to cross this bridge, Mianjin Bridge, and walk back, and then go home. Um, and there is the bridge. Okay, so we just took a bus back to this sort of car park where you can park your cars everywhere. I've forgotten the name of this car park actually. It might be useful for someone. Manin san, what's the name of this car park? Uh, Su Azusa. Asusa. Azusa. Isn't that, is it not Su something? Su Azusa. Okay, whatever. Well, I'll put that in the, in the subtitles. Uh, yeah, so many people park their cars there. This is where it got really congested. And this is the car we've rented, a Mazda. That Demio from Times car, I've had no problems so far. This car's not too bad. Um, automatic's a bit strange for me still. Uh, the brakes are so strong. Like you just tap it a little bit and it's like. <clears throat> so that took a while to get used to. And uh, now we head back to Matsumoto and eat something. I'm not sure if I'll film that or not. Um, hope you enjoyed watching me walk around and mumble about stuff. See you and soon. Good morning. So today is a bit cloudy and patchy rain. E. So right now I'll just show you. So there's the car. To park cars in Japan, it's very difficult and expensive, and there's not many spaces. So you have to find a place like this. And then when you drive over this thing, after like two minutes, it will lock. And then uh, you know when. It, depending on how long you stay in your area, you have to go over here and pay lots of money. Let's, let's find out how much that was for an overnight period. Looks like a lot of money. How much money did that cost? 1,500, so about $15, about nine pounds, eight pounds. For how long was that, really? Yesterday at nine, eight? Like 14 hours. Oh no, no almost like 15 hours. For 15 hours, so mm, pretty shitty. And yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna find something to do. That's not so bad in the dampy rain. We're good then. Oh, good evening, fellow viewers. Evening. Oh, morning, sorry. Afternoon, whatever it is. Oh. You catch me trying to... driving in... <laughs> the Nagano Mountains in Japan in an automatic car that keeps... doing that, changing gear by itself, so I can't really... Oh, it's... The roads are fun, but... This is just like... Have a look, just... Check out this stuff that's going on here. Left, right, it's really fun, but not in an automatic. So, where are we going, man? Anytime. Utsukushigahara 
Corgan. That is correct. And it's a very high plateau, 2,000 meters. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything to do. It would probably rain. But hey, check this out. This is fun. So yeah, whew. it got very misty and cloudy. I think it's because we're very high up, 2,000 meters. It's not too warm. Uh, there's a viewing platform over there. If you can see, it says Lookout Tower. Beyond the ice cream thing, it says Lookout Tower. There's nothing to see. So what we're going to do now? Just have lunch. Just have lunch. I guess that's what we'll do. And maybe do a walking trail in the fog and mist. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, so before we go, we've decided we're going to go to another teddy bear. That's the third one if you've seen all the videos of mine. Yeah, the reason is because it's, this place is very nice in the pictures. I bet it's amazing. But it's just too misty, so we can't go. And I thought I'd just say um, this place here, this whole like plateau. It's famous for this, if you know who this is. Heidi and, what? Heidi, the mountain girl or something? The girl of the mountains, I don't know. So yeah, come here if you like that. It's cool. So here we are. Why are we here? Why do you love teddy bears so much? They're cute. But you've already been to two museums. Right? Yeah. Different. Where are we again? Tateshina. 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 Uh huh. It's basically a ski town resort. Oh, let's go inside. Yeah. So I like all the teddy bear museums, they're quite cute and quirky. Um, well, something interesting though is, if you can see, one of these bears, I'm not sure which one it is, 0.5, it must be that one, is the smallest bear in the world. And I won't focus through the glass, but if you can see it there, on that pedestal, and there's a, that's what it looks like. And there's the certificate from the Guinness World Book of Records. Smallest teddy bear. Less than one millimeter. Hokkaido, oh what? So where's the one millimeter one? That must be this one. Oh sorry, my apologies, this one here. You can see that? Lol. Pretty cool. Guess where this is? French bears, Italian. This is where this one is. Switzerland. I've been there. 
Zermatt, Matterhorn. I recommend it. Uh, there's actually a video on my channel on, on that trip, so find it if you want to. Oh, Deutsche, Germany. Hmm? This is very German. The only Germany thing is that. Oh, the magical castle in the background, and maybe all the fairy tales. I think this is the fairy tales. Who's that supposed to be over there? Hmm, do you know? Classic Spain, Spanish guitar. Uh, I've forgotten the name of that building. Famous though. Gaudi architecture. Gaudi? Gaudi? Pretty cool. Who have we got here? Christmas. Finland? It's not Finnish. Finland, huh? I love Christmas. It's not really the same in Japan, though. So. Uh, yeah, I recommend you go somewhere like Finland. Or well, anywhere in Europe, actually. Germany's good too. UK. So I've got Africa there. Egypt, Saharan, there's getting very busy. Saudi Arabia, I think. China. And what I find quite funny is the American one. Well, it's not funny, but compared to the others, it's a bit plain. I mean, okay, here you got people dancing, barbershop band. But then, like, what's the significance of these? sewer pipes or whatever they are. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Canada. Vancouver. So many teddy bears. It's pretty cool. It's got some like uh, pop culture bears. But Teddy from Mr. Bean. And you've got Ted, surprisingly. Sounds like Brian from Family Guy. Same actor, of course. Isn't it?